My name is Travis Peterson, and I am the principal trumpet player of the Utah Symphony. I think the, the first time that I heard the trumpet where it actually like stuck out to me and it really meant something and I sort of uh, was really intrigued by it was when I heard a recording on um, a cassette tape that my parents had of Fanfare for the Common Man by Aaron Copeland. Um, I listened to it a ton and uh, it was just this amazing, gorgeous brass sound. I guess it wasn't really just trumpet, but it was sort of uh, the brass sound that I was really drawn to. Um, and that was probably, I would say, early on in elementary school. You know, I'd, I'd played on a trumpet before at my grandma's house because she just had this random cornet, um, old cornet, laying around, and, you know, me and my cousins would just kind of horse around on it, and um, I was able to, you know, buzz my lips and make a sound uh, pretty quickly. I don't ever remember not being able to make a sound on the trumpet. I sort of immediately was drawn to it, um, just sort of the power and, um, the challenge that it sort of created, um, and sort of the competition between, you know, my, my friends that also played trumpet, just who could play higher, louder, and faster. Um, my school, when I was growing up, I'm from a small farm, farming community in Minnesota, and there wasn't an orchestra program, so it was just band. Um, it was a really strong band program with great teachers, um, so they kind of inspired me to keep at it and practice and you know they showed me different music whether it's Canadian brass um, you know Wynton Marsalis uh, you know just different types of music that I was kind of blown away when I heard I hadn't heard before and it sort of just motivated me to um, you know find a passion and fall in love with it. I would say the role of the principal trumpet player in an orchestra is to uh, more or less lead the brass section. I would say the, the contribution that the trumpet has at large, just a trumpet section, um, is, is this beautiful sort of um, big sound. It can be all sorts of different colors. Um, it can be intense, it can be sad, it can be really happy, it can be this big fanfare that happens that really, you know, um, gets the attention of whoever's listening, the audience. Um, and that is actually why the principal trumpet player, I think, is a good leader for the orchestra in general is because it can grab your attention. I think what I love about playing trumpet in an orchestra or just playing in an orchestra at all is the fact that we get to work as a team and collaborate as musicians on a stage and communicate that emotion with the audience. Some of my best memories are at the ends of pieces where the audience just freaks out and that to me it makes it all worth it. The trumpet players in an orchestra have to sort of be ready to play different types of trumpets. So this trumpet I have right here is a C trumpet and this is typically what we always play the general repertoire with um, in an orchestra. Uh, we also have a rotary trumpet, so instead of it, it being like this, it actually looks like it, we're playing it sideways. Then we also have just the B-flat trumpet, which is what um, every beginner starts on. And I actually warm up on my B-flat every day before I start playing my C trumpet. The trumpet has a really nice, beautiful sound naturally, but sometimes we like to change the color of it, and we can do that by playing with different types of mutes. Um, the standard mute that is asked for in a lot of different types of music is a straight mute. This is a straight mute. Um, so here, here's just an articulated uh, concert B-flat without mute. Now with the mute, you'll hear the difference. So that's an example of the straight mute sound. Here's an example of an, a Harmon mute sound. This is a Harmon mute. And on the Harmon mute, you can actually remove the stem to make a different sound. So it has multiple sounds. Here's without the stem. So a great example of a standard trumpet piece or solo that I have to play in the orchestra is from Mussorgsky's Pictures at an Exhibition. Um, it's a really fantastic piece, and it actually starts with just trumpet by itself. Um, it's supposed to represent um, a patron in an art museum, 
you know, kind of walking through, glancing at different art uh, pieces. And um, that's why it's called the promenade. So here, here is the promenade from pictures at an exhibition. 